It's March 2022, and I'm continuing my exploration round La Villose, the European capital of aerospace, Toulouse. With a university that can trace its roots back to 1229 and aviation links that go back to the 1890s, Toulouse is both an education and aeronautical powerhouse. The Museum de Toulouse is the city's natural history and geology museum, housing a number of galleries, including an earthquake simulator, a wide collection of prehistoric skeletons and a large gallery dedicated to ethnography and global cultures. It's also home to the usual collection of stuffed animals that depict life on Earth through the death of said animals. The museum houses the Jardin Botanique Henri Gossin. The main part of the garden is in the space immediately outside the museum, with plants that can cope with the weather in the south of France. Attached to the museum itself are a number of greenhouses that house the more tropical and exotic species of the collection. The museum and botanic gardens sit in a corner of a much larger Jardin des Plants, which forms part of a series of connected gardens in the centre of the city, which can all be accessed via bridges, allowing you to move between them in tranquillity. In the Jardin des Plantes, there's a large rock and water garden, which you can climb up through to a reviewing platform above a waterfall for views over the garden. From the Jardin des Plantes, there's a bridge which takes you up and over the Grand Ronde, a major roundabout in the heart of the city and down into the large park that sits inside the traffic intersection. Once inside the Grand Ronde Park, it's impossible to tell that you're completely surrounded by a major road, as the planting and fountains help hide the sounds of the rest of the city. From the Grand Ronde, another bridge takes you back up and over the intersection and down into the Jardin Royale, a small park set around a small lake.
10 kilometers northwest of the city center, next to the main final assembly plant of Airbus, is the Musée Aeroscopia. The museum tells the history of the aeronautics and airspace industries in the area, which date back to the very start of the age of flight. Exhibits in the main hall include an example of a Super Guppy, but it's still used by NASA and was used by Airbus to fly key components between its various plants. The craft is displayed in its loading mode, with the whole of the cockpit swung out of the way. When the plane is loaded and ready to leave, it swam back and clamped back together. Today, Toulouse is the global headquarters of both Airbus, manufacturer of iconic jets such as the A320 and A380, as well as ATR, who manufacture many of the world's turboprop aircraft, and there are examples of their various aircraft on display. The first Airbus aircraft was the A300, the prototype of which is on display, but the concept of Airbus Multiple European manufacturers working together in part came about from the successful cooperation of Aerospatiale of France and the British Aircraft Corporation to create undeniably the most famous plane ever built, the Concorde. The museum houses a pre-production version which was used in part in commissioning but in its later days to shuttle numerous French presidents around the globe. Parts of the aircraft have been recreated to show how it had looked when it was undergoing testing and development with banks of data collecting devices. Further down, there are examples of seating, both from its commercial time and its time in service with the President. The most striking feature from a visit inside is quite how cramped and narrow the aircraft is and just how small those windows are. Next door to Concorde is the aircraft that created Airbus, the A300. The first part of the plane has the outer panels removed so that you can see what the guts of the commercial jet plane look like inside. You descend down to the ground floor of the museum, passing underneath that iconic nose cone of the Concorde. Alongside the inside exhibits, there are a number of prototype and pre-production planes parked outside that you can walk around, including the second ever prototype A380. Even if you've had the chance to fly on one, Boarding from an airport terminal doesn't help do justice to just quite how big this beast is. You can wander underneath the wings and wonder how physics allows something so big to become airborne. You can also explore inside the A380 where several concept cabins and options are on display, including bars, premium economy layouts and an economy class that looks very much like something off a 1990s German commuter train. before visiting the crew rest area and cockpit on the lower deck.
Toulouse Blagnac Airport is 10 kilometers northwest of the city and linked to the city center by tramline T1 as well as the Aerobus. The airport has direct links across Europe and North Africa with frequent flights to the major European hubs to connect to the rest of the globe. Toulouse Matabial Station is located in the centre of the city and is connected into the French high speed network with TGV services to Paris, Bordeaux, Montpellier, and Lyon. There's also intercity and regional connections across France.